stuff to do today. However, we're starting off with getting this hair together, babe. Because I told you guys in last vlog that I needed to wash my sewing. It's, it's looking a mess. Don't look, sis. Don't look. <laughs> but it's fine. It's itching pretty bad. Um, I need to wash it. We're about to do that. Mainly because you guys can see I'm super oily right here. These strands, baby. Ooh, um, no, we need to handle that. Um, this hair right here, it looks okay, but um, it's pretty bad. If you watched last week's vlog, you saw me put a little mascara on my scalp. <laughs> Which, you know, kind of made my hairline look a little thicker. But anyway, y'all. Before I get to washing, though, I need to secure a couple of tracks, y'all, because um, I like to do that before I actually wash my hair. There's only like three of them that I need to secure real quick. Because if I start washing my hair and, you know, scratching my scalp and doing all of that um, before I secure it, then it can get looser and looser. Then I have a bigger problem. Then I have to like reapply the whole track and I don't want to do that. So I am definitely about to be lazy because I need to go and get my, um, my clips out of my beauty room. But, you know, it's fine. Anyway, y'all, today we have a therapy session. Gotta go and handle handle the therapy. <laughs> I got a few other things that I want to do today outside of going to therapy, like having to go to therapy. I pretty much have the day to myself to really do whatever it is that I want to do. So I felt like today I wanted to like kind of do like a self care day. You know, like do things that I enjoy. <laughs> um, I kind of want to go pick up a book today and get some flowers, like the whole vibes. So. I think that's what our day is about to look like. Just a pretty chill, cool day. Nothing too serious, you know what I'm saying? I don't feel like I need a long thread. And this is the thread I get, y'all. It's a really big one that I get from Beauty Supply and I use two different needles. This might be all I have to do. Is these couple of tracks in the front. Especially like for my self-care day today, I wanted to like, look like something, feel like something, you know, vibes. So it was important to me to make sure I did my hair this morning. We always feel better when our hair is done. All right, y'all, I think that is it for the tightening of the hair. Let me just feel around to make sure that I'm good. But I think that's, I think that's good. So I'm gonna go ahead and wash this hair real quick and kind of take y'all through the steps while I wash my hair. Um, uh, yeah, I'm gonna be using some products from Way. Shout out to Way for sponsoring this portion of Vloggy Vlog. <laughs> they do have a new hair gloss, you guys, that I used last time I washed my weave and it is, it's giving bomb, okay? I love it. It does protect your color, which you guys know that my hair is um, dyed black and it also um, treats heat damage. You know, we got a lot of that. <laughs> So more on that in a second. Let's go ahead and hop into washing this hair. So Way was created by celebrity hairstylist Jen Atkin. Way likes to ask us what do we want versus telling us what we need for our hair. Since we're having a self-care day today, y'all, I wanted to feel very, very confident. So I needed it to be a good hair day. And I also want to take better care of my natural hair all 2024. To refresh this sew in, I did go in first with Way's Detox Shampoo, which cleanses my hair and gets rid of product buildup, all that mascara that was in my hair, dirt, oil, and other impurities. But after I rinsed that out, I did go in with Way's new hair gloss. It does give you an immediate shine right out of the shower, but it also helps to treat damage and it just takes the vibrancy of your color up a notch. It is made with hyaluronic acid and rice water. After I use the hair gloss and let it sit for five minutes, I did go ahead and rinse it out i did go ahead and put in my leave-in conditioner from way which helps to detangle and hydrates my hair then i ended with the way hair oil which helps to keep my color from fading and it protects from heat damage so make sure you guys give your hair a glow up with way go to t-h-e-o-u-a-i dot com slash maya galore for 15 percent off any product that's t-h-e-o-u-a-i dot com slash maya galore to get your discount sis all right y'all so the hair is dried. I decided to not take you guys through that whole process. But yeah, I went ahead and dried my hair, my natural hair, as well as the weave. It's a little bit damp still in the back. We're about to go ahead and flat iron it real quick. I'm also not gonna take y'all through that ringer, but I did wanna show you guys kinda how it uh, straightens with the products that I've been using. I don't know if I showed you guys how much leave out I got. 
This is about how much we're working with. It's not that much. Yeah, I want to show you guys how sleek and straight I get this before we finish everything. Usually when I straighten it, I just comb chase it so that I can get as straight as possible. And with one swipe, we're already blending. We blend it, baby. And y'all know, I don't know if I told you guys, but I just, and I don't know if I told y'all, but I try to limit how much heat I'm putting on my edges. So I like to use edge control on like my edges on the side as well as this right here because it's pretty broken off. And obviously I do that so that I don't have to put any more heat on it. It can grow back the way I want it to. I don't keep breaking it off by going in with heat. So I just do that and we got the look we're going for. <laughs> but if I chose to, I'm good because the last two products that I use does protect my hair from heat. So up here, more edge control because this hair is severely broken off. So this control is my saving grace and then I tie it up so that it lays flat the way I want it to. And I usually do this on a regular basis, especially when I go to the gym. This is my go-to way of laying this hair down after the gym. So I'll just let it dry completely under my sweatband or whatever I have on my head. And then I'll use edge control for my edges and tie it down. I'm gonna finish styling my hair a little bit later on with y'all, but it's refreshed. <laughs> you can at least bump this. Also, if y'all notice, I put some brows on because I just feel like when you're doing your hair, it doesn't give what it's supposed to give completely being like done. If your brows ain't done, at least your brows and some lashes. I know y'all know what I'm talking about. Like if you're at like the salon and you get your hair done, it don't hit until you get home and put your lashes and your brows on. It is a thing, baby. It is a thing. I am gonna go ahead and with a little bit of the mascara I've been using. I like to look like my scalp is nice and full. <laughs> and I feel like that's just a really, really quick and easy way to achieve what it is that I want to. Everybody, everybody does a little hack here and there. You know what I'm saying? See, y'all see how much better that is? And then you can't tell up close because it's just black mascara, so. Yes, come on hair. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> like I said before, make sure you guys check out those weight products and use my code. And I'm gonna see y'all in a bit when we do our makeup. What's up, y'all? So we are about to do our makeup really, really quick. I have Dior in here with me. She's in her pen <laughs> right behind me. I'll show y'all. There she is. Say hi, baby. She has to stay in there um, while I'm filming because um, it's too much like hair and crap all over the floor. Like, I didn't turn around, baby girl, and I ate something she should not have eaten. And we don't have time for that. <laughs> so, gotta keep her safe. I'm drinking a protein shake this morning. This one is mostly vanilla, and then I put a little bit of peanut butter in it. So good. Y'all, Amira has been killing my protein shakes. Like, she's been drinking them like crazy. She loves them. All right, moment of truth. Let's see what the hair is looking like. Where did this little... <laughs> it's fun, but she's laying pretty well. Um, we're done doing makeup. I'm gonna um, bump it a little bit. Since it's been tied up, but it's laying the way I want to. And you guys saw this morning, I didn't put any heat around my edges. I just did the heat here and then that's it. So yeah, I love how it turned out. I'm thinking I might do a little bit of some eyeshadow today, just for a little razzle dazzle. <laughs> <laughs> I have therapy today and honestly you guys I'm starting to feel like I can decrease my therapy sessions as far as frequency ever since um I started therapy I've been going weekly pretty much every week it got a little weird around the holidays but it's been an every week thing and y'all I have gotten so much growth from therapy, it's not even funny. Just from the way that I look at things, the way that I process, you know, my actions, and it's really helped me to shift my mindset towards focusing on me versus focusing on what someone else done to me. More like processing who I am, why I think the way I do, why I respond the way I do, and you know, just focusing on the things that I can control. It's definitely been a journey, but I think I'm at the point now where I want to um, lower my frequencies. So maybe like every other week or once a month, something like that. I feel like I've graduated to that. 
I'm gonna use this Gone Matte Palette from ColourPop. But yeah, I have noticed, y'all, since I've been in therapy, that it is very much a form of self-care. <laughs> and I wish more of you guys would do it, especially if you, you know, you lived a little bit, you're a little older. I'm not, I'm not even gonna say that because I had therapy in my early 20s and it was much needed. But for me, it has most definitely acted as a form of self-care because though like right after a session, I might be feeling, you know, emotional <laughs> and you know, things are on my mind and I'm processing and everything like that. But over time, I've just started to just really get better and look at things better and process things better and move away from being so angry to being a little bit more nonchalant about certain things and I felt and I believe it's because of how I'm looking at it now you know my mindset about it is different and that has truly truly been a blessing for me I really think that my session today is going to be a very light one <laughs> just because I've been doing so much better and I've had some triggers and those triggers did not get to me as much as they did a couple months ago. I overall feel like I just have a better mindset. However, in therapy, I am dealing with multiple issues and then just in general trauma and stuff like that. So but when it comes to certain things that I've been dealing with, I've had some triggers and I have just really turned myself around. <laughs> <laughs> as far as my, you know, responses and what I can control. And I'm proud of that for me. I love that for me, especially at the top of a brand new year and a new season, you know? So I went ahead and added a eyeshadow liner on the edge and then I'm using my concealer to kind of sculpt it out. Cute eyeshadow, very neutral, but you know, it's cool, it's fine. So y'all today I really want to ask my therapist something specific because I feel like we all kind of have this question when we're trying to heal from something or move forward in our lives. I guess what I'm trying to say is we want to give ourselves time to heal. You know what I'm saying? So that we don't make the same mistakes again and things like that. But and you guys can give me your opinions in the comment section, but I'm wondering what does it look like to be fully healed? You know what I'm saying? Or how do you know you're fully healed? How do you know that you're ready to move on whole and healed? <laughs> I definitely plan on asking my therapist this today and if she gives me a good answer, I'm gonna give it to y'all. <laughs> but um, I just wonder like, what does that look like? And how do you know that you have to go ahead to, you know, move forward with your life healed and whole? So many of us go through things and everyone's like, don't, don't jump back into this or do that or do this until you're completely healed. Go to therapy, figure your stuff out. Make sure you're over a situationship or relationship before you hop into a next one or start dating again. At this point, that's such an extremely common thing that we tell each other or we give advice on. But I feel like nobody is talking about what that actually looks like. How do you know you're good? How do you know that you're not going to project old issues onto the next person? How do you know that you're going to finally start to stand on business and do what you're supposed to do for your life? And that has been something that I've been trying to figure out for myself recently. And I feel like asking my therapist would be the best route so I can see what her expertise is on that. Because the last thing I want to do is move forward and not truly be, you know, healed and whole and better. And don't know I'm a better person as far as how I think, how I look at things than I was this time last year or the year before that. Still, it's like, what's that marker? <laughs> you know, what's the marker? What is it you're looking for to know that you can do better, you know? And y'all, this is my Fenty Beauty uh, cream cream blush that I'm using. This is in the shade Cheeks Out. Do y'all remember when I was not a blush girl? I used to, ha I'm not gonna say hate blush, but I was not a fan. <laughs> so I hope I remember to ask my therapist that. I hope I remember to ask her and then bring that information back to y'all. <laughs> Cause look, the girls need to know, okay? 
<laughs> it's like people ain't got time to just be sitting around healing for years and years on end. You know what I'm saying? You gotta move on with your life. So y'all, I think I wanna go to the Avalon today. Um, I kind of want to do some shopping, looking around. I got a few stores that I want to hit. I feel like I don't go there much at all. I went there for dinner a couple weeks ago with some girlfriends after this event that I spoke at. And before then, I hadn't been since 2022. So around the time when I first got down here. So I'm going to go explore that area a little bit. Make sure I'm nice and warm because, baby, it is freezing today. But we'll get out there, shop a little bit, and maybe grab some food before we head back home. I know they have a Whole Foods out there, too, and Whole Foods be having some good flowers. Um, I know I want to do a flower arrangement later on today, so I would love to pick that up while we're there as well. Y'all, I didn't even put on bronzer, and just that powder made it look like I have bronzer on by sculpting that out. I love that for me. sections and just kind of curl it back like that so that it kind of falls. I did layer this hair when I cut it so I'm just taking it back and it kind of creates that really cute like bumped effect you know you see it. I haven't done this side yet so you guys can see the difference. You can see the difference between this side and this side. So you see how this one is a lot more fuller, bouncier, flowier. And I'll do half and half. So like I'll take half of the hair on this side and do the same thing and push it in the same direction. So like I'll split it in the back like that, you know? And I feel like it makes it look fuller too. You'll see how this side kind of looks a little more fuller and just flowy. Um, usually I'll start from the back at the bottom. Y'all ain't no hairstylist, y'all know this. I just be trying to make it do what it do, okay? Y'all, I have been thinking about cutting my hair back off. If you don't know uh, or follow me on my other platforms, I occasionally will post a photo of me from back in the day with my short pixie cut. I'll go ahead and pop one up on the screen right now or a couple of them. Y'all, when Rihanna came out with, what was it, Take a Bow, I think was the first video that she had where she had the short hair. Had the girls in that choke hole, you hear me? And I was one of them. <laughs> because baby, I cut my hair off so fast. So I had my pixie cut around that time. And then a little bit after that, make it good, cut her hair off. And then she had like the cute little swoop on the side with it shaved in the pack. That had me in a choke hole too. So <laughs> that was my next hairstyle. And then I would like go in between just the short pixie with, you know, a short around my forehead and then put my bag in sometimes, which was just like some weave that I would most of the time just glue into my head. I have been thinking about going back to the short hair. I loved when my hair was like that. I felt like it really fit my face. I felt like you could really see my features more. I love my features and I feel like when they're on display, the best is when I either have my hair pulled back into a ponytail, which I have not done in a while. I remember when I was in St. Louis and I kept doing like the little slick back with the, um, with the braid, with braiding hair. <sighs> But yeah, I'm thinking about going back to that. Maybe not right now, but sometime this year, maybe. And if I do it, I ain't gonna tell y'all. I'm just gonna pop out. I'll definitely record it though, so we can go back and I'll show y'all what I did. Because when I did cut my hair, y'all, I cut it myself. I did not go to a salon. Um, at the time, my boyfriend, at the time, he could cut hair. So he would um, like line me up in the back and just make sure my back was looking good. But that very first time, y'all, when I cut it, Baby, I cut it myself, tapered it myself and everything. I didn't have no clippers, but I did, um, ooh, 
Do y'all see how this just came to life, baby? Ah, I love it. This is my favorite hairstyle right now. Yeah, I did it all myself, and then I would um, have him cut my hair, and then sometimes I would actually go to the barber shop, and they would go ahead and line me up in the back. But I miss it, y'all. I miss it. I miss it a whole lot. So we'll see. I feel like it gives very much grown woman vibes. And if you know me these days, baby, we trying to be on the grown woman vibes. That might be something that we do towards the end of the year because at this point, I don't know if I want to completely heat train my entire head. I am definitely on the bandwagon with the girls right now who are like, y'all not gonna keep pressuring me not to put heat on my hair if I'm a natural. Um, I'm with the straight natural girls. Like I'm down for their for their <laughs> for their mission, for their um for what they have to say. I'm not gonna lie to you, I am in agreement. <laughs> However, I don't know if I want to become a straight natural. Like, I don't know if I want to get my hair used to heat and like loosen my curl pattern and everything. Part of me just wants to cut it all off. <laughs> and if I'm gonna be honest, if you haven't followed me for a super long time, you don't know. The reason why I went natural after my hair was short, it was because one day Amira came home from school. She was very, very young. And she went to like an all white um, preschool. So she was like four years old. And she was asking me, how come her hair doesn't flow in the wind? Like the other girls at her school. And she was saying she didn't think she was pretty because she didn't look like them. Point is, my baby did not feel beautiful. And I was like, oh no. <laughs> so I let my hair grow out and I went natural. Because when I had the short hair, I had a relaxer. Because I was never a fan of like the curly, curl short hair on me. So I did have a relaxer, but baby, I went natural so fast for my baby. Because <laughs> I was like, ain't no way. Ain't no way I'm about to let my baby feel that way. And then she look at me and then I have the long flowing hair too. So now, you know, Amir's older. She wears braids all the time. It's just a different story. So I don't feel the need to do it as much. Like I love my natural hair, but I really did do it for that reason. Cause I did prefer just having straighter hair and just save the time. Cause having natural hair is so time consuming. And though our hair is beautiful and gorgeous and all of the things, sometimes I just want to show. I just want to get up and go. <laughs> it's a lot. With the heat damage or heat training it, all of that is a thing. I just be, I don't know. So long story short, baby, we might be changing up the hair length. We might be changing it up, but we shall see. We love this. It is flowing. <laughs> love how this is looking. Let's go ahead in the room and let's choose an outfit. Take it away, take it away, feeling too good to me. Chilling all day, all in your space is where I wanna be. Here in this room, what did you do? I just can't get enough. Too caught up in your love. I've been trying to forget, but you won't let me. Something in my brain wants you. I've been hanging by myself. show y'all a quick fit real quick um i did change my shirt i had on a brown like crop top which is from my outfit online got rid of that because it was too tight and i'm trying to do better about wearing clothes that i'm comfortable in i cannot remember a time where i wasn't like pulling at my clothes while i'm out and just trying to like either to cover myself up or make sure my rolls ain't showing all that stuff and 2024 we're getting away from that because i'm always like uncomfortable when i do that i didn't wear it because it was a little too tight for me um so i switched into this bodysuit which is from express it's like this mauve type of pinkish salmon type of color so anyway um blazers from zara pants are from hmm that's a good question 
Okay, pants are from H&M. <laughs> Just a wide leg um, type of pants. Um, the boots are Michael Kors. And then I'm wearing my Coach bag. And you know, these are the vibes. Um, I had paired it with these heels, but obviously we're not going anywhere heel worthy right now. I'm about to walk around and um, <laughs> shop. But y'all, these are cute. I feel like with the shirt, it's a little off, but I think it's cute. I was deciding whether or not I wanted to wear the boots or if I just wanted to put on my sneakers. Um, but I felt like the boots gave it a little more extra, a little something, something. You know what I'm saying? And then also, I feel like this is a very basic outfit, you know, just like a little top and jeans. But I felt like to elevate it, I threw the belt on. We got on the boots. Even if we had these on, it still would have been elevated because of the belt and then the blazer like jacket, you know? And then the structure of the bag. Elevated casual all 2024. All right, y'all, let's go to therapy. Hopefully I don't mess up my makeup. I'm a little concerned about that, but I would really love to just drive straight to Avalon after that. If not, I'm gonna have to stop by the crib and fix my makeup. But we'll see. I think it's gonna be a very light session. So hopefully that's the way it goes. So I'll see you in a second. So it was not a light session <laughs> at all. I actually had to go back home get my makeup back together because wasn't no way I was getting on here with y'all looking like that y'all my makeup under my eyes was done so what's crazy is my therapist also was like I thought today like halfway through she was like I thought today was gonna be pretty pretty light but <laughs> this work this is a lot I said you know what I'm saying <laughs> yeah I'm pretty sure I went through at least three or four tissues so one thing I did learn though today is that well, not learn, but I was telling you guys this a little bit earlier is I know that I've come a long way in my therapy journey um, to the point where I have increased my boundaries, <laughs> my personal boundaries. And that's just not about relationships, but in general, because one thing she talked to me about, she was like, if you have issues with, you know, boundary setting and standing on and all of that relational wise, evaluate it in other areas of your life. Right. So I had been doing that past couple months and the sister been standing standing on business okay when it comes to other areas of my life and i've noticed that that has started to come more natural to me and so we kind of chatted about that a little bit but that's how i knew i like i was better and you know i'm less angry and all of those things so i'm really grateful for that just some things that we talked about today just hit a nerve so i was just very emotional but i did end up asking her what i told you guys i was gonna ask her earlier I was going to ask her about, you know, when do you know when you're healed or that you're healed and whole and ready to move on? You know what I'm saying? And in general, what she said to me was you pretty much know when you're healed, when you feel as though you can, for me personally in my situation, when I know that I can set boundaries and stand on them. And if I'm doing that in my life in general, which I just said I am doing, she said sometimes you're not going to completely know for sure. You definitely want to see progress emotionally and, you know, as far as whatever situation you're healing from, a lower level of reaction. You know what I'm saying? As far as not so extreme or or angry or whatever the case may be. But also, she says, sometimes you're not going to know till you get back in the field. <laughs> and then maybe just one time, like for me, ex for example, she was like, if you go on a date and then you realize it's hard for you to say no to something or you realize that you're people pleasing and whatever, then, you know, you might need a little bit more time to practice that on a daily basis in your own life outside of that kind of thing. So I was like, OK, that makes sense. So I guess from her perspective, it's like a feeling type of thing to know that you've made the progress that you need to make and then you know, you kind of test yourself to see if you really make that progress. <laughs> so yeah, we talked about a whole bunch of other stuff as well, which I will not share, keep private. Cause y'all know that's something I'm definitely working on. <laughs> um, I love sharing and being open and transparent with you guys, which I'm gonna continue to do. But like I've said in a video before, there are certain things that should not be shared for my own mental health, for my own, you know, work-life balance, you know, in general. So please believe, unfortunately, y'all, um, while we gonna key key it up once I get back dating, you know, about certain things, y'all ain't gonna see nobody unless I end up getting with a fine celebrity and he posts me first. <laughs> just playing. But, but that ain't always cracked up to be out here. So I'm really just playing. Anyway, yeah, that's not something that I'm gonna be sharing on my channel anymore. Sometimes you gotta go through it the hard way to learn the lesson, but I totally understand now why some female influencers 
do not go that route. And now I am with them. 100% solidarity. <laughs> but in T ways, sis. We are now on the way to Avalon. I'm a little later than I wanted to be due to the fact that I had to go back home and fix my makeup. But now we're headed out there. Um, I was going to grab a book, but I ended up just grabbing my new Essence magazine with um, Issa and Tracy and um, my girl Maxine on it. So I'm going to read that a little bit while I eat some lunch out here. But first, I want to go to Crate and Barrel, y'all. Well, let's wait till we get there. Then I'll let y'all know why. I'm trying to go to Craig Barrel. There's one thing that I'm actually looking for, but then, you know, we'll see what else we find. All right, y'all, we just got a parking spot exactly where I wanted to park. Thank you, Jesus, for the small things. <laughs> I saw a video on TikTok the other day talking about how girls get out of the car. Talking about we be always having a whole bunch of stuff. It's low-key true. <laughs> so I got a bunch of stuff to grab before we get about this car. Y'all, I am just really loving my hair today. I feel like it's giving... A teeny tiny bit roller set <laughs> a little bit um i need to get some rollers because i feel like that would really make my i feel like that would make it really flow better Ooh, i'm feeling so cute today <laughs> um let me put on some lip gloss real quick before i go honestly i probably am just gonna go to true food kitchen y'all know i love me some true food kitchen but there's some other restaurants over here that i have never had so we might get adventurous and do something else so yeah i'm gonna take my magazine and I think we're good. I just realized recently my face has been getting super oily while I'm out. And then I realized that I haven't been spraying my face. It makes a difference, Maya. It's part of the process for a reason. So we are going to Crate and Barrel because um, for my dining room table, y'all, I want to take away those jute um, table placement things so that got like the black what am I trying to say the table placeholders <laughs> um I don't want the jute ones anymore because I have jute in the rug and on the runner so I really want to get like some white or off white ones from Crate and Barrel so that is why we're going to Crate and Barrel today thank you you're welcome okay so they have some right at the front of the store, but it's not really my style though. Placemats, that's what they're called. What did, why couldn't I figure, why couldn't I? That was just was not coming to my mind. <laughs> Placemats. Every time I come in here, they have my dining room table. It just always looks so nice. <laughs> there it is right there on display, my table. So here's all the placemats, y'all. I think I wanna do, see look, these are so cute. I love the jute. Isn't this pretty? I kind of wish I had those instead of the circle ones, but it's really the same thing. It's a different shape. These are cute with the black trim, but it's like, will you be able to see it because the table's black? Probably not, Maya. What about these ones? These are pretty basic, you know? I like this one. I'm probably going to end up getting some more um, next year because y'all, I'm hosting Thanksgiving next year. So excited about that. <laughs> uh, for now, I'm just going to get one, two, three four just gonna get four um, i'm probably gonna take a photo of the name of this so i remember which one it is and i can um i can purchase it later i don't know i kind of want the other one yeah this is the one that i have at home i have these I have these ones and they're not the same thing as that one i take that back what if we did like a dark green one nah i think that's gonna look stupid I'm gonna just stick with what I got. Even though it's around the same color, it's not jute, you know? So it just brings a different vibe to it and I don't wanna go with white, you know? It's lighter. I think it's gonna give the contrast that I want. So let's do that and let's look around for some other stuff real quick. Okay, y'all, I think I might've spoke too soon. Um, I didn't realize they had a whole nother section over here with more. So I saw this one right here. It's really hard to see on camera, but I like it better than the fabric ones. Okay, so apparently I must have lost my memory child because I just went back into my camera and I saw what my jute thing looks like. Y'all can't really see it, but it's the color of the ones that I'm looking at. And that's my issue, y'all. My issue is that I forget the color of things that I have or what I have, then I end up buying the exact same thing that looks exactly the same. <laughs> and that just almost happened. So 
Apparently, y'all, yeah, we can't even like figure it out. And I don't want to go with white because that just doesn't make a lot of sense. <sighs> we might end up walking out of here with nothing. <laughs> okay, y'all, so that was definitely a bust, unfortunately. I think I'm gonna go ahead and try a different place. Well, I'm gonna run into a couple other stores first. And then I think I'm gonna try this place called Super, how do you pronounce it? Superica, Superica, I believe. It's uh, Mexican food. Even though I really want a true food kitchen, I really should just get what I want. I'm gonna go in here and see what their menu looks like. Thank you. Uh -huh. Thank you. Okay, though I wanted to try something new. No, nah, I'm trying to do better about <laughs> choosing places that have food that match my goals. I need my actions to match my intention. So we're not gonna do Mexican. We're not gonna do Mexican. We're gonna go to True Food Kitchen and I'm gonna eat what I wanna eat. Self care day, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Let's go to each other. I don't wanna be crazy no more. Every time I think you're gonna walk out of my door, I start to jump to the conclusion you don't love me. And I want to go to Cafe Intermezzo real quick. Is this the door? Where's the door? Um, I just want to get some coffee real quick to go. And then we're going to go to Whole Foods and see if they have some uh, flowers for us. Hello. Hi. Um, I wanted to get uh, coffee to go. Okay, thank you. Hello. I wanted to order coffee to go. Can I get us another latte? Good. How are you? Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. All right, y'all, last stop is Whole Foods. I parked in the perfect spot so that I could just walk right over here. <laughs> I hope they got some really cute flowers. I want something basic, y'all know me. Classic and basic, so. So, got a lot of roses. Oh, these are pretty. These are so pretty. I always love these, but they look like they're dying a little bit. I feel like we can get one of these with those little roses that I saw. I think I'm gonna do, oh, they got some beautiful white roses. Gorgeous ones. Oh, so hard to find really beautiful ones. Oh, we might have to get these ones. I love a white, a beautiful white rose. Oh, those are gorgeous. I think these are the ones, they're so pretty. I love white roses, it's my favorite flower. All right, y'all, we got what we needed. Let's head to the crib. Hey y'all, we are back at the crib we are about to do our flower arrangement i've been home for a while but as soon as i got home i grabbed my baby to somebody y'all think she's my dog she's our dog together but amira be at school y'all so i gotta take care of the baby right amira mm -hmm. amira just got home so i took dior out she used the bathroom and then i played around with her for a little bit and we sat on the porch for about 20 minutes waiting for amira to get home from school so now I'm about to do my flower arrangement. And Maya, we're gonna do better about content. I'm about to film it with my phone. She slid? Yeah, sometimes the floor is a little uh it's a little slippery for that baby. Yeah, we're trying to up her fiber intake, y'all, because she's not pooping as much as she's supposed to be, y'all. If y'all can see my surgery history, child. Because <laughs> I'm filming this. Let me go and put a little lip gloss on. I think you are slowly learning the uh, rules of the house. What kind of rules? Just what she can eat, what she can't eat. You know, she hasn't been all over the floor recently a whole lot. She's trying to eat everything. I mean, she still eats stuff, but you know what I mean. Mommy. Yeah, baby. Mommy, look. What? Oh, she's on my tripod. <laughs> I was waiting for you. Would you like to take her around the block? We gotta hold her. Wow. She pulled your hair. Wait. <laughs> Dior. 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 So, y'all, 
y'all, I'm just removing the stems that's a little bit lower. That way I kind of just have them at the top and not at the bottom so that it doesn't look crowded with the leaves. I like a little bit of leaves now. I used to not like it at all, but I didn't even have to put any tape on this. I brought it down just in case, but I love her. <laughs> I love her, I love her, I love her. I still want it to look clean, you know, but I'm okay with having some leaves. I love y'all. Posing for my for my real. <laughs> Y'all see that smooth walk off? Okay, let's do it one more time. <laughs> I mean, I thought you had to go to the bathroom. I know. <laughs> You're distracted by that baby. That was weird with my warm out. Let's do it again. Y'all, the phone is literally right in front of y'all. It's just off to the side. You can't really see it. One of those got work. Look, y'all. So my phone is literally right here. <laughs> Dior. No. When you first got Dior, did you know that she was a <laughs> uh, Well, she was acting a fool when we found her, when we walked in and she was playing around. But she was, um, I just thought, you know, she's playful. But she's a puppy. All puppies are like that. It's not like she has anything different about her that other puppies don't. Puppies have a lot of energy. They're all teething. And they have to be taught. All right, y'all, I think we got the shot. We got it, we got it, we got it. That's so beautiful. I'm gonna leave her right in the middle here. Oh, oh, I've had this vase um, in the living room on my black bookcases. And I was just searching for a vase in the house and I felt like that was perfect. It's not as big as some of the others. And I feel like this space calls for a big one, but I can, I can rock with it. I feel like she needs something underneath her though. She's gonna go on the island. <sighs> now I wish I would've got them a uh, place mess at Crate and Barrel. Cause I could put her on one of those circular ones. And then, oh, let me, let me see. I might be able to find something I could use. Hold on, let's see what we can find. Y'all, y'all should see how Amira is with this baby. Y'all talking about me. Amira loves that baby. When I tell you, Amira don't like when she cr cry and whine. Now, whenever Amira comes in the room and she's in the pen, she'll start whining. She'll do it with me because I'm, you know, we're training, making sure she's, you know, learning certain things. But Amira, she'd be like, mommy, she's crying. <laughs> and then she'll go pick her up. So Dior has already learned that she can get away with stuff with Amira. <laughs> she loves that baby. She loves her. She'll be wanting to go to school. I never want <laughs> True. But even more now that you got a baby, and then at nighttime, she just be hanging out in my rooms right now. Dior is still sleeping in my room in her pen. So at nighttime, Amira don't be wanting to go to bed and go shower. She just be sitting in there laying around with the puppy. I'm telling you, Amira loves this puppy. Y'all just see me with the puppy all day because Amira be in school. Amira loves that puppy. Everybody says that uh, I lied, that that's my puppy, not yours. <laughs> because of how I be taking care of her on the hog. <laughs> it's not true, guys. You just don't see everything. You know what I'm saying? An hour of footage is not an accurate reality. Y'all, should I have put this in this face? Is this face the same height? Oh, it is. Now I'm gonna switch it. Only because this is more like modern. These are not like placed. So I'm gonna put them in here. I'm gonna see what they look like. Okay, see, they, they spread out a little bit more with that one. I'm gonna leave them. I'm gonna leave them in this one. I'm gonna leave them. I like that the um, opening on this one is a little smaller. I mean, you wanna go to the shore with me? I want to change out the that fake that faux euc eucalyptic set in that's in that vase on the coffee table. Mm -hmm. I want to go get some faux um, flowers okay. stems from um, Hobby Lobby. Well, she should be nice and tired. She's been playing for a while, so she'll probably go to sleep. All right, y'all. We got our flowers. I think they look beautiful. Amira and I about to go to Hobby Lobby. We might as well just take y'all with us. Y'all want to go? Go. Let's go. Get it. Going shopping. Hi, sweetie. <laughs> Come here, sweetie. Hi, baby. That's a good baby. Dior. Hello, baby. Look at that pretty girl. No, Dior. <laughs> Dior, no, put your little wet nose. <laughs> I just want the girls to say hi to you, baby. They love you so much. 
whenever you're finished. Just cute little white toes. I don't be being mean to other people. On the road. I don't think Yes, that. you do. No, I don't. Yes, you do. And then you ask for forgiveness. And then you say it again in the next five minutes. I mean, that's not true. It's true. Y'all, somebody come get your internet niece because she been making me die laughing this whole time on the way to Hobby Lobby. It's not wrong with it. If y'all really do Amira's personality, she would have her own channel. And she'd be happy. She'd have a million followers. Look at her laughing. The girl is hilarious. Come on, though. <laughs> I want to replace my stems on my... <laughs> Amira. I want to replace the stems on my coffee table. Amira, what are you laughing at? Y'all, my child laughs at everything. <laughs> what did I just think about you? That your emotion is displaced. <laughs> it's a problem. Okay. I want to find some faux stems for my uh, coffee table. And I was really thinking about, move a mirror. <laughs> um, I want something that looks somewhat real though. I don't think this is the word place I want to be looking. These look fake. Those do look fake, but they're pretty. They are pretty, but they look fake, don't they? Yeah. Cause imagine, I'm trying to make a nice big bouquet out of the black, the black base on the um, coffee table. <gasps> Let's oh, see what else oh is your mouth better? But I want white. Huh? Is your mouth better? Yeah, I'm better. Okay. My mouth's better. These look so fake. <laughs> I'm here and get away from me. Oh, child. Somebody get her. Somebody get the baby. Get her. Get her. Did my laugh be, late, be making me laugh? Because why do I laugh like that? I don't know why you laugh like that. You have a little problem. These look fake too, but... Yeah, no, they look, they look pretty. These don't look as fake. I Amira, mean, that was not funny. <laughs> These don't look as fake. I like this. I feel like this will add a really feminine touch. I don't know. It's not cute though. This will add like a really pretty feminine touch to that face. It is pretty. And it's not white. You know what I'm saying? It adds a little of that neutral color. It's kind of like a baby breath that has been sitting for a while is what it's given. No, Amira, they don't have clothes. It's clothes in the back. Where? Over there. Over there. I mean, I don't see no clothes. But why? Do you want some clothes from Hobby Lobby? No. <laughs> Y'all, Amira has had a great day. I can tell. My baby is just... <laughs> She's really got the jokes today. Okay. That might be my best bet, y'all. I don't really see anything else that would work. Or is given the vibe of what I really, really want. Initially, I was thinking like... I don't remember the name of these, but her, her, her something like that. Excuse me if I butchered that, but Amira, what is that? Amira, what is that? Did you know it was gonna spray something out? It didn't spray anything. It's just, here. it's just. It. Amira, would you leave me alone? <laughs> yeah, I told y'all, come get her. I've always wanted to try one of these. These are pretty these they don't have enough like i want a big this looks ancient okay i don't see anything else that's gonna look like what i want here i kind of want to replace my sticks too you guys um that's in my vase or my um like entryway tables not really entryway table but um i kind of want to replace those too maybe not today though okay these look a little bit more re mm, no they don't this stem is giving fake y'all look at my child <laughs> what are you doing bruh what are you doing? She's spraying fake perfume. <laughs> Get away from me. <laughs> oh God, okay. Okay, look, these look like the same. Are these the same ones? These look a little different. <clears throat> Mira, no, that's not the same ones. Those look different. Why are these ain't got? What? <laughs> She's standing there looking at me like that. I don't like it. <laughs> Amira. <laughs> these are pretty these are pretty are these pretty i think i'm gonna go for that baby's breath um like the more brown tone one amira cotton don't get too close <laughs> Uh, 
Okay. <laughs> oh, did I say this one? It's crazy. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just keeps going, never ends. Nine, <laughs> 10, 11, 12. 12 times six is. Twelve times six. Forty percent off our everyday prices. What's forty percent off of seven? It will be thirty dollars. Twenty-eight point eight. I could do thirty dollars. Oh, we getting these. I could do thirty dollars. Yeah, another day of people thinking that Amira oh. and I are sisters. Oh, food. Yes. The girl. Um, Why is this light like this? The girl uh, checking us out was like, "I know that's not your baby." <laughs> I said, "Yeah, that's my daughter." And she couldn't believe Amira was only 12 years old. I'm trying to get in the habit of saying you're 13. Yeah. Since your birthday's in a couple weeks. Okay, y'all, we just got back. And I got my stem. I really hope and pray that these look good in that um, in that base. But we're going to find out. Well, this thing ain't dusty. I ain't dusted this thing off in a long oh, time. That. Yeah, that's not enough. See, that's not enough, right? That's what I said. I know what you were talking about. I told you on the coffee table. Okay, first of all, let's get this dust off of this thing. Alright, y'all, so these are all big up in here. You can lay down once you get everything the baby needs. Usually I just bend them. Oh, let me turn the oven on for you, though. No, you can't. I'm gonna make Amira some dinner real quick. We're gonna have to buy some more of this popcorn shrimp. It's the last of it. I'll get you some more. Okay, y'all, so I really want like a circular type of. Okay. Type of vibe. Mira. <laughs> oh, girl, you have just been so funny today. Okay, y'all. So far, so good. Y'all see the vibe? You see what I was going for, sis? Do you see it? I don't want it to be too, too high because I've realized when I have it too, too high, it blocks the television, especially when we're actually laying on the couch. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell y'all. My mama bought me a um a knife set. What happened? My mom bought me a knife set, you guys, off of Amazon. That's where these scissors came from. It's over there in the corner. I don't even think I've showed it to you guys yet. I mean, look, it's turning out okay. So far, look. We do need a little bit more, but I think it's going to be all right. I need to pull it down a little bit, but it's just okay for now. Can you turn the office up so I can hear it? Okay, y'all. Let's go put it in its spot. I think I love it. Sorry, the lighting is terrible. It's dark right now, but... Demir, you see the vision? Okay. Do you like it? Yeah. I you sure? So. Yeah, I like it. Okay. I think I need to rearrange them a little bit better. So, yeah, y'all, we need a little bit of adjustments, but you get it. They just need to be adjusted so that they really are shaped the way I want them to be. I definitely need some more stems. It looks a little steep. Like, it look a little thirsty just because in the space it just looks too small it needs something more grandose so when you look over there it's like you know it just seems like it should be a little bigger you know what i'm saying it just it's just giving too small also y'all cannot wait to fill this space i already told you guys we're doing a gallery wall very very soon but anyway child um i just got done heating up some dinner for my baby let me taste this make sure it's hot enough tonight we're gonna do a little self-care night i think Probably nothing too, too much, but we'll hang out tonight in my room. I'm about to give Amira her dinner. So yeah, I'm about to give Amira her dinner, and then I'm going to see y'all later on tonight. Bye, girl. Hey, y'all. Uh, so, your girl is oily. Okay. So oily, it's time to take this makeup off. I'm trying to do better about pulling my hair up and back <laughs> while I'm doing stuff. I just be leaving my hair down 24-7, baby, like has no use being up. Also, I need to wear my hair up more because face. <laughs> I'm gonna attempt to uh, be a good girl today and wipe my face with like a balm. <laughs> I am so freaking bad about that. I'm gonna use my Elemis um, cleansing, cleansing balm. Focus, focus. There we go. <laughs> But I never, um, especially when I have my lash, especially when I have my lash extension going, I have to use a um, makeup wipe. I have to do, I have to do that first, y'all. Yeah, I hope my um, 
fingers in focus. But sometimes they don't be in focus. Yeah, they say that the cleansing balm is so much better for your skin and really gets you clean, clean over a makeup wipe. So usually I'll wipe with a makeup wipe first and then go in with the cleansing balm to get any excess off. Like, I don't know, I just never liked the idea of taking everything off with the balm. I want to hit start. <laughs> this right here while I'm be using stuff to pull my hair up. It's in the way. So y'all, today was such a good day. I don't know what it is. I love when I have days where I'm like vlogging all day. And though I'm working, it's like I'm not working. You know what I'm saying? And these days always just remind me of how far I've come and how grateful I am to be in the position that I'm in. See y'all, I'm rubbing this and barely nothing is coming. I got a little bit of makeup, but not much. So I do like to give it a head start. That way it's not as messy, you know? I just get so grateful on days like this because these days tend to feel just very surreal. Like I said, I'm working, but I'm not working. I'm able to live my life and get paid and to, you know, change lives and, and to have access to you guys. And it's just really, truly a blessing. So I just wanted to take a moment <laughs> to tell you guys, thank you so much for just being there for me and supporting my content, for supporting me in general through life happenings. <laughs> like, I feel like we've been through a lot together. Like a lot, a lot. And I'm still praying for the Lord to continue to grow my platforms. Um, and I believe that that is coming. But um, before that happens even more, I just wanted to speak to the girls who are here for me. Only so many of y'all make it to the end of the vloggy vlog. <laughs> but there are tens of thousands of you guys who make it to the end of the vlog and watch me every week. And if you made it this far, you're who I'm talking to. I just want to say thank you so much for just being there for me, supporting my partnerships, watching my videos, watching the ads, baby, so a girl can get paid because, baby, this house don't pay for itself. All that support not only, you know, helps me, but it helps my daughter. What I'm doing for her, what I'm teaching her. And then just so many of you guys who just pour love into me, words of encouragement, sharing your stories with me. Y'all have no idea how much that means to me. Like if you've ever met me in person, if you told me some some story about how I helped you or some girl, plenty of y'all have seen me tear up on the street. <laughs> because it just means so much to me um, to be where I am, to be in the position that I am. Oh child, y'all know this gets a little gown, but just bear with me. I ain't even gonna try to talk or be serious while I'm doing this because I know I'll be looking crazy. Last time I did this and I was looking crazy, one of y'all was like, uh, Maya, just do one eye at a time. And I was like, yeah, do it, Maya. <laughs> Sometimes you just need another set of eyes and ears because you just don't think of everything. But yeah, y'all, like I was saying, I just really appreciate every last one of you guys for supporting me and being there for me. I just love y'all. And I appreciate the support that I have in the platform that we built. I feel like it's very positive. It's very real. And I just feel like we've built such a transparent platform, such a beautiful platform of sisterhood and realness. But I went in with my Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. I haven't even tell y'all the products. These are the same products I use most of the time. So I feel like there's not really much to say. Um, I go in with the Magic Cream first and then I use the Magic Night Cream from Charlotte Tilbury. Always layer this at nighttime to give myself kind of like an overnight mask, which I feel is always really helpful for my skin. I try not to pile it on too much. Sometimes I go a little overboard, but it's fine. I haven't figured out if you're supposed to put eye cream on in the morning or night, but I'm, I'm putting it on at night. <laughs> so I also have the Magic Eye Rescue from Charlotte Tilbury as well. Brush my teeth first. Oh yeah, I also didn't tell you guys. Um, I just got a crown put in on this side. We're moving with the teeth progress. Uh, I told you guys the whole plan that I'm trying to do um, for my teeth. I told you guys a few vlogs ago, but if you missed that, I went to the dentist and they gave me this whole like year long plan of what I need to do to perfect my smile. Cause I just, 
It could be perfected. But anyway, hold up, y'all. Let me brush my teeth. Okay, like I said, um, I did get a crown um, the other day. So it's back here, and I'm so happy I got it because the tooth that I'm missing on this side is that exact same tooth, and it's my good side. I can't miss, I can't be missing that tooth, so I got a root canal, and then I got a crown. I'm about to use this NARS lip mask. Um, this is an orgasm. I think this is only available on the NARS website. I'll try to remember to link it. But I love, love this lip mask. It lasts all night long. I wake up super moisturized at the lip. And you know, I love that for me. I am about to change into some PJs real quick. Let's get dressed for bed and we can chill a little bit before we clock out the day. On my old flame, watching my page Say they miss what I gave them, I'm doing fine now I feel amazing, I'm out of their range Keep them guessing when they ask about us Don't give them no time, that's how we stay up How we up, but you stay down Real from the app, about to play out Spending time, wind down, what is take out and when I'm in them walls, you feel it in your bones I've been on the road, this choke that I hold on your soul Got me making up for days out Got you singing tones till you laid out It feel like what we are never fade out. Fade, out, fade out I let it ride when I usually would have rolled out Baby say please and thank you cause your love has stayed down I leave the past in the past, that's all done now Show a little appreciation Y'all know what I just realized? We have never done like a nighttime routine montage like that. Like ever. <laughs> we have to do that more often. Um, anyways, I'm struggling to get the lighting good. So I hope you guys can see me. I feel like I'm blurry. I am about to do my planner. I told you guys that I am getting big about this for 2024. Yeah, for 2024, I'm doing better about checking my calendar every single night and making sure that I am on track for the things that I know that I need to do. Okay, this is last week. I didn't check off last Friday. YouTube went up. I posted on Instagram, not TikTok on that day. I'm already behind, but it's okay. <laughs> it is totally fine this week okay tomorrow um i have a wax appointment at 12 30. i need to edit this vlog i need to turn vlog in and then i need to start filming um, another partnership i want to post on tiktok and instagram tomorrow i also need to post an lg ltk post today i filmed check that off so we know we did something very um important <laughs> even if i miss a day i like to go back and put what i did that i accomplished so i can check 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 it off just gives me a sense of accomplishment <laughs> okay i got my day planned out tomorrow i'm gonna have an appointment tomorrow i want to go and get dior way all right i think i'm good for tomorrow so y'all i've been trying to read every night but it's mostly been like self-help books but i really want to like get lost in a novel it's been a long time since i've done that so if you know of any really good novels can you drop them in the comments or even send me a little linky link on ig dms i really want to get lost in a novel i want something that i can just kind of you know enjoy like an enjoyable book i just like a good book with a good storyline if you like something drop it let me know what it's about or what's the genre yeah i'm looking to do that and to start getting into some more novels versus just self-help books just to make it more of a fun hobby because i haven't read a lot lately so i love that for me i love y'all i love y'all so much and i hope you guys enjoyed today's vloggy vlog and i will see y'all on the next one bye girl Thank you.